Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in this video on AutoHotKey Studio, I wanted to demonstrate some of the cool functionality using uh, IntelliSense. So let's say I start off typing a built-in function to AutoHotKey like um, stir split. Stir split, there we go. Um, and notice how the blue, I don't think if I zoom in, it'll actually increase the fonts on the IntelliSense. Oh, it did. Cool. Awesome. So this would be my string. Duh. Right. It doesn't matter. And notice when I move over, I'm going to add my comma. It knows where I am. So my delimiter is going to be a, a pipe. And I'll move over one more, add another comma. And see, it's showing me where I am. Um, blah, blah, blah. Right. Let's let's use one that's a little like message boxes are, are to me. So actually, you know what? Hold on. Um, we'll do regex replace um, which has quite a few parameters so my haystack that'd be my haystack comma the needle um i'll look for a digit uh here what am i gonna um, replace it with i'll just say nothing and another comma the output var count i'll just call it count so anyway you can see how when it's really long right it, it's super helpful to have the highlighting keep showing up where you are and I can come out of I can come out of this and come back in and usually it does a good job of showing me where I am right so it's it's super super helpful this is in a function in site um, which is the default editor that I, I used to use a lot I still use it but not not for coding not a hotkey um, I actually did let's see here so projects I think I did replace, right? Replace. Um, I adapted mine to where it works, my version of site, where it works better with the functions than it does with the commands. So my haystack, blah, comma. Oh, you know, I should close that. Let's, and, and there is a hotkey, and I can't remember what it is, but once you get out of it, now I don't, recall how to it's like shift enter and i i can't i can't um remember what it is so unfortunately i'd have to type that again let's see if that'll pop up oh and see how it's just it's just not assisting me nearly as as well as in um studio the other thing though is let's use um let's use string split instead of stir split string splits so this is actually a command um, and, and here now see, I've turned mine off and well, I didn't turn it off, but site can't handle because the first thing is a comma. And then it, it kind of, if it's a function, that would be a parameter breaking on and, and you need the parens, but it's, it's not built into studio. Um, sorry, site. So, but in, in studio, right. If I start using stir split string split, um, it keeps track of where I am. So even though I'm using the command, it will still keep track of where I am. Um, so blah, blah, delimiter is great. So you, you get the idea, right? The other incredibly cool thing is those are the built-in auto hotkey tools, um, functions and commands. But even if I create my own function, right? Or class or whatever. So I'll say my func, turn it into a function, it's gonna take Let's say two parameters, um, first, second, right? So I'm just building a function here. And now let's say I was calling that function and I said my, and notice how it's already there, that assisting, right? It's beautiful. Um, but see how it gives me the IntelliSense for what's in there. I mean, like I'm getting goosebumps because that is so awesome that even my own functions, I can have IntelliSense assisting me because I can't remember what in the world I'm doing. And it's just really great to have that thing popping up all the time. So um, en enjoy the IntelliSense in Studio because it's it's kick butt and it really helps you um, write, um, be much more productive. Cheers.